Hello everyone, it's your man Leonidas aka Mr. Homebrew Now, I appreciate all the support to the channel Thanks a lot, all the likes, subscriptions, shares Hit that notification icon slash bell for all the latest As you can see, I got crews in the world up and running right now Load into my save state I was showing this a little earlier Hopefully I can progress a little later on tonight You guys can enjoy this No problem I'm on the latest 6.2.0 On my Nintendo Switch Running RetroArch Frame rate's nice It's not perfect But it's great You guys are going to get better frame rates In RetroArch with this package Everything's updated for you guys this is going to work on 6.2.0 also, so you guys can be running Homebrew on 6.2.0 with this package and everything. You'll have a nice beautiful frame rate like this, no question about it. Very good. Look at that. Amazing games. These retro games are legendary. To be able to play Legend of Zelda or Ocarina of Time, you guys will be able to play that no problem. Runs at a good frame rate. You see it here, I'll be running it at a nice frame rate. Now I don't have the counter up right now for the frames, but that's all good. Dropping bombs, loading up another save state. You guys will be able to enjoy this, have some fun. If you're already up to date with how to get things running and you already have RetroArch running you're going to enjoy this a lot you're going to have a blast no question about it just like this you're going to have fun like that blast off into outer space anyways now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your Nintendo Switch you're going to want to power it off completely I'm using auto RCM. You do need a jig like this. You can send the HK 4.5 payload through Tiger RCM or from your Android device or from an RCM loader if you want like this. Um, you'll remove your micro SD card from your Nintendo Switch. You're gonna wanna plug it into your computer. Now in the description of this video is gonna be a couple of different packages. Any one of them's gonna get you up and running. It's gonna have a different theme. It's gonna have RetroArch updated. You're gonna get good frame rate. The one I got here is the Mr. Homebrew Black and Yellow 3.5 Zip. Now you're gonna want to extract that. I got it into a folder. I extracted it here. Now within that folder is all the files you're gonna need. So what you're going to want to do is go to the root of your micro SD card, not in any folders or anything, it's right into the root of your micro SD card and you're going to copy and paste every one of these files onto your micro SD card. I'm not going to do that because I already got it there. Now, once you copy over all those files onto your micro SD card you're going to take the time to eject your micro SD card properly through Windows you should have your micro SD card as FAT32 it will work with EXFAT but you might be prone to corruption or more chances of getting corrupted files and things like that so FAT32 is the format I do recommend on your Nintendo Switch Put your micro SD card back into your Nintendo Switch. However, you're going to send the payload. I got auto RCM so I can send it like this. If you don't have auto RCM, you're going to need to use your jig to short out pins 10 and 1 or pins 9 and 10. Slide it all the way into there. Good to go. You would hold the volume up and power button for 3 seconds. 1, 2, 3. Good to go. You would take that out. 
slide my Joy-Con back, and then you would send the payload with either your Android device, Tigra RCM, GUI, or your RCM loader, similar to what I have here. Your Nintendo Switch should boot up. If you're using the black and yellow theme, you're going to be gre greeted with a nice Mr. Homebrew black and yellow theme. I think it looks beautiful. If your Nintendo Switch has the yellow Joy-Cons, the yellowish neon Joy-Cons going on, it's going to suit it really well. And bang, you'll be up and running. You'll have homebrew. You'll have to, if you want the icons like this, you'll have to install them through tinfoil, obviously. So I'm going to go into RetroArch itself. Again, I can show you that the frame rate is nice. And to confirm, I am on 6.2.0. For those who might not believe, so there's always somebody who's doubting things. 6.2.0, right there, updated, running homebrew, custom theme, that shows it right there. But for those who don't believe, we got other ways of showing it. Got NFL Blitz running. Get that up real quickly. I've been playing that quite often. There's a lot of other games that are running. For those who already have homebrew up and running on their Nintendo Switch, this will get your frame rate up with RetroArch, this package, all together. No question about it. Be sure to make a NAM backup if you can. It's very important. You can see that in my previous video. One of my previous videos. Um, take the free kick. Bang. Boom. Halftime. This game runs beautifully. Boom! 18-yard return. The bomb. You ready? You ready? Go. Oh, interception. Look at that. This game's the best, though. Ha <laughs> ha. Anyways, so you can see frame rates good on here. Gonna get out of there. I'm gonna go back. I can load something else. Diddy Kong Racing if I wanted to. That's running pretty good. But remember, this package is gonna have you guys enjoying a lot of good things. You're gonna have Choi de Jour NX, which is gonna allow you to upgrade and downgrade. Use the Heatcate 4.5 payload. That's the most recommended. Um, highest compatibility, all that good stuff. Jump into a level, just like that. Diddy Kong Racing, I got Conquer. For those who don't know, the overclocking is done here in the first column. And then you would go to CPU overclock. It tells you your current clock and you can underclock. Overclock. You got your stock settings. I'm obviously overclocked for a game like this. Things are still being updated constantly with the emulator, but it runs really nice. You can have a lot of fun with these games. I can make corrections, maybe lower the graphics quality or something like that, and I get a better frame rate. But I'm just cruising around right now. I didn't even go the right direction. You know, I'm a little distracted, obviously. But it's all good. You guys are going to have a lot of fun. I know it for sure. Your frame rates are going to go up. There's no question about it. Be sure to like, subscribe, share, and all that good stuff. Your man, Mr. Homebrew. I hope you like. And there's going to be more great content to come. I know you guys see it here first. And if you don't, there's reasons behind that. I wasn't quick to rush you guys into updating to 6.2.0 for no reason. Things weren't fully compatible and fully ready to go when it came to homebrew. It was best to wait. I know there's other people who wanted to rush into getting people to update and to brag about, you know, atmosphere running or anything like that. But honestly, it was best to wait. All the best. Take care, you guys. Peace.